Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Becky and in today's video, we are going shopping at the grocery outlet. If you've been following my channel for a while, hanging out with me, being my friend for a while, then you know I am a fan of a good deal, a bargain. Bargain shopping is like my, like just jam. I just, it just scratches this itch in my brain. It feels so good finding a good deal. And if you have a grocery outlet near you, I highly recommend checking it out for yourself because you will save yourself a ton of money. A quick Google search will help you find it. I will pop up the website that shows um, grocery outlets, salvage grocery stores, uh, bakery outlets, things like that on the screen for you guys to check out for yourself to see if there is one near you because it really does save a lot of money shopping outlets so we're gonna go in together check it out see what type of deals they have today also I don't know if you can hear it you probably can't it is a gross disgusting day outside today it's 5 30 p.m. I have my cup of joe it's finally my Friday I'm gonna celebrate by going to the grocery outlet at 27 years old am I cool or what okay so these are on today's special for eight dollars for this whole container pretty good deal there's always some great meat deals at the grocery outlet. Redo stickers galore a dollar for that. Honestly, I have so much meat in my freezer, but if I didn't, I would consider this. Sold out of that. This bag of tortilla chips, a dollar ninety-nine. It's a pretty good deal. This dark soy sauce is two seventy-nine. I actually need this for a recipe coming up. Publix. So funny. Bread and butter pickles are fifty cents. That's crazy. Great place to get your canned goods. I also have some wheat thins. Does anyone need a Hunt's tomato ketchup for $3? That's crazy sauce. They got lots of like convenience foods. Hamburger helper for a dollar. Mac and cheese. These cups are 79 cents each with kids at home. Great price for that. And they are fully stocked. That's a great price. That's a dollar. Pizza sauce, pizza sauce. This is a dollar, this is 69 cents. So check the label, June 2023. So that's past, that's why it's marked down. And I have lots of baking stuff here. It's a really meal kit. Four dollars, what's in here? Okay, so it's got all of these things. Four things, like a dollar, a can. That's actually not a bad deal. I got some really awesome granola things here today. These are reduced down to two ninety-nine. I guess probably because they're expired. Yeah. Okay. After a quick Google search, I'm not gonna get the expired coffee. I'm gonna get this one. That's a dollar more, but it smells really good. It's Blue Mountain Blend. That's fun. And there's a last chance section as well. Talk about random. This huge pack of papers for four dollars and a Brita like filter, twenty dollars. Also, candles, galore, sprays. My dad would like that for a stocking, but it expires in March. I don't know if they'll go through this 200 drops in three months. I mean, maybe. Alright, MMs galore, guys. They always have pretty good freezer stuff. Um, I think they get some my broccoli from Aldi to get a better price. But if you don't have an Aldi and you have an outlet, this is probably a good place to find some veggies. I probably won't be able to keep that clip because of Taylor, but that's fine. 
Okay, have you guys seen Riced Broccoli before? Riced Broccoli. It's a heel. Alright, this is where I like to get my lunch meat because it is $1.99 for this package and this is like the best deal. Okay, this is going to be best value, so I'm going to get one of these. This was here last time. This is $4 for this huge thing of pork sausage. That's a really good price, so that's like $2 per roll. That's great. Okay, we got some crescent rolls here for $1.29. $2.49 for a two pack of seven rolls. The Trader Joe's seven rolls are the best, but that's a really good price. Shut the front door. You guys, these are always like $3.50 at the grocery store. Okay, I'm gonna get two because I love this stuff. Come at me later because I said I wasn't gonna get any meat, but I'm getting two. Sausage also a dollar ninety nine. Mango a dollar ninety nine. I wonder why those didn't sell. Oh, and this is also Italian sausage right here. All right, friends. I just finished in the grocery outlet. Drop your guesses down below how much you think I spent. And when we get home later this evening, I will show you my haul. Friends, I am home from the grocery outlet and you are looking at my haul as a whole. Here it is. Super exciting. I hope you guys have your guesses in mind. I'm going to go through each item, tell you the price of each one, and then at the end I'll tell you the total. So, I got these two shareable ba bags of M&Ms by Garrett and I really love them. And these... Uh, we couldn't find the pretzels last time, so I was very excited to find those. And the M&Ms are my personal favorite, so obviously I got both bags. We do like movie nights and stuff and mix M&Ms in them, so I'm very excited about that. This is very random, um, but my dad loves the menthol um, cough drops. And if you're following my vlogs, you know I've been trying to find stuff for both of my parents' stockings. This was $3.50, and so I went ahead and grabbed it for his stocking. Um, okay, and then I love getting the taco seasoning from the grocery outlet because it's so cheap. $0.44 cents for each package, $2.49. Great price. So I'll freeze one, use the other now. It's, it's a great little system. These... Holy cow, I had no plans of getting meat. If you watch my vlogs, also my parents recently sent my husband and I home with like so much meat um, from their freezer because their freezer is very stocked full of, free of uh, meat. But when I tell you I love this kind of sausage in most things, uh, I'm super excited about this. So $1.99 a piece, and normally these run for about $3.50 each. So I bought two to freeze both because I am super excited that I found that deal. This was kind of an impulse buy. This was only a dollar. These are good till September of this year. So I have a little bit. But these pepperonis, I mean, this would make an easy dinner option, like some stromboli, some flatbread, something. So I went ahead and grabbed those because I could like you know base a meal off of this basically so it's nice to have that available canned vegetables that i like to buy um the french style green beans are the best kind of green green beans fight me if you disagree <laughs> i'm just kidding but they are the best okay uh comment down below if you like the french style the most and then corn this is just great to have on hand i personally am a huge fan of corn so got that and then i was like intrigued by this this is a chili starter and my dad uses chili starter for all his chili recipe and it always makes a difference he uses the like chili magic it's like a blue can um, but this was 89 cents so i grabbed one to see what i thought about it because i don't know if i'm gonna like it or not so i didn't want to get too many a dollar 69 for two pounds of rice is a great freaking deal and i i have some rice but also we're always using rice we just ran out of rice in our container today. I'll have to refill it. So like, it's great to always have extra on hand and back stock. So I was super, super excited. This is a great deal. I am trying to dabble in dried beans, okay? And I didn't wanna get the huge like three pound, five pound, four pound bag of beans cause I'm not sure, you know, if I'm gonna be very good at this. I mean, it's probably not horribly hard, but 
So I got black beans. All three of these packages are 79 cents, by the way, which is a great deal. So I got black beans, navy beans, pinto beans. They had the lentils there still, but I still have some lentils that I haven't gone through and I haven't been drawn to making lentil recipes. So I stuck with the beans. Um, and then the red enchilada sauce. This is actually in a recipe I have coming up, $1.49 for this huge container. Grabbed it while I was there. And then I really also like getting my coffee from the grocery outlet. So I got this um, bag of coffee for $3.99. It smells amazing. Blue Mountain Blend made me excited. And then just some 12 uh, K-Cups for $2.99. We'll see if we like those. Okay, friends, have you guessed? Oh, I'm sliding downwards. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see. All right, have you guessed the total that you think I spent at the grocery outlet today? I spent a total of, drum roll please, $35.57. So of course, me being who I am, I uh, entered everything into Walmart to see how much I would have spent today if I had got to the store and bought everything that I got today at the grocery outlet at Walmart and I would have spent $74.44. So that would, that equals to $38.87 saved. Like more than what I spent today. So this is just a reminder, if you um, haven't looked into your area to see if you have access to a salvage grocery store, a grocery outlet, bakery outlet, what have you, I will link that website down below for you guys to do a little research on your own. Also just a quick Google search. I mean, literally it would take like four seconds, maybe even driving around to see if there's one in your area. I didn't have much luck with that. I prefer one over the other, but that's okay. I have access to two, which is very exciting. Sadly, I do not have a bread outlet in my area, but that's okay. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and I will see you guys in the next video super soon. Bye.